so uh, I was working in retail primarily as soon as I finished school. Uh, that was while I was at tech. And uh, yeah, I progressed and moved into hospitality in 2018. And after that, I moved around various bar restaurants, uh, restaurants and cathedral quarter as well. And yeah, just progressed into here while I'm still a student. I love the sports club. I mean, we've been coming in here, drinking a good bit, coming to gigs and everything. Uh, the connections you form around cathedral quarter with other restaurants and other bars as well. You just come in to see your mates and uh, yeah, just love the vibe of it. So uh, I'm a bartender, so it would mainly involve just serving customers. Uh, you know, you just deal with people day in, day out. You'd be working various gigs, events. I mean, like we've got comedy nights, we've got an, uh, an art night as well which is held regularly but uh, yeah I mean you'd be working you'd be working some gigs I mean there's two a day at some points over the weekend and yeah just it's a big mix of things as well I mean it go from like a country gig in the afternoon to like a big thumping techno night in the evening so it's it is great honestly you get to meet such a wide range of people I mean you form relationships with customers like regulars you get to talk into them and you know it does pay off in the tips as well and then some of the acts as well that you'd see in here I mean there's DJs that you know tickets sell out you actually get to see them and you're, you're saving the money rather than going out we we get a lot more I'd like to say free reign with how we, we are in here but I mean the managers really bolster you to be you. I mean, it's not like you're you're trying to put on an act or anything. I mean, we're, we're basically getting paid and motivated to, to be us and that, that's what brings customers in. So yeah, we would have a lot of input into, you know, like different drinks that are coming in, you know, new ones that are following trends as well, like seltzers as well and all. And I mean, we've got Hooch as well that comes in and then customers are coming and telling us that they've been drinking that from years ago and it's almost like nostalgic when it gets to it. But, you know, in terms of like merchandise and anything, we get to like see the designs and be like, oh yeah, this, this and this is like cool, but you know, you could add that and all the advice is really taken on board. There's not really anywhere like it in Belfast. Uh, I mean, like just with the right, wide range of acts and everything that comes in here. I mean, it, it's mad. It goes from something that you could have like a country and western thing in the in the evening, and then you, that would end up moving to like trance or, or not, not trance and techno or anything in, like, later on. And it's it's just mad. I mean, everybody comes to it as well, and it's just the general look of the place. It's it's kind of like somewhere that's lost in time, but it's it's there.